What's going on YouTube? KG here back with another Transformers Force of Five video and it looks like we're finally getting some changes to Transformers Force to Fight. So it may not be exactly the changes that we want. Um, I don't know. That's up for you to decide. Personally, I think this is a pretty good change. But let me know in the comments what you think about this. So we got Kabam Mike hollering at us from the forums. He says we have a couple small but significant changes heading your way next week. I wanted to give you a heads up. We're making a major change to loyalty. All right, and he said, what's that? We are removing it completely. Loyalty is going away out of Transformers Forge to Fight. So Wednesday, next Wednesday, in order to simplify economy and make the game more accessible, we'll be removing loyalty as a resource. To accommodate this change, we're making the following adjustments. If you uh, fulfill an alliance mate's help, you get 100 gold. Um, for mission energy and then 50 gold for each bot that you help in arena and with a max of 3,500 gold per day. So instead of those loyalty points, you're going to be getting gold up to 3,500 a day. And then um, Alliance missions would no longer require loyalty as a map cost. So that's pretty cool. And the Alliance crystal will now be a free to collect on a 24 hour timer much like the free daily crystal and all loyalty will be will then be converted to gold so i, I think that loyalty is just not that so in, in marvel contest of champions with loyalty you have a chance of getting this rare uh champion an unstoppable colossus and even though he's not that great you still have this opportunity to obtain a three a four star unstoppable colossus and i think that in transformers forge to fight you don't have that where I forget to get loyalty crystals. So in the history of this game, I've maybe opened 10 to 15 loyalty crystals or alliance crystals because I always forget to purchase them. And then on top of that, there's nothing else that you can do with this loyalty besides these crystals, which then if you miss them, I mean, your loyalty is stacking up. Uh, you can donate it to the alliance, but you only need to donate so much. So then you have all this extra loyalty that's just doing nothing. Marvel Contest of Champions, they introduced the Loyalty Store, which was really cool. Then if Transformers Forge to Fight wanted to do something different with the loyalty than what they're already doing would be to introduce a Loyalty Store like <clears throat> in Contest of Champions, then maybe you can purchase a three or four star Bumblebee. Um, I think he's a better loyalty character than Optimus Prime just because of his loyalty to um, his owner and uh, like in the movie and stuff like that. So I thought that would have been pretty cool, but I don't mind they're taking it out of the game altogether. You're getting a free Alliance Crystal every day, so now you don't have to remember to go purchase it like before, maybe. I don't know how that's going to work. And then you also have something less uh, required for Alliance missions. So I do think that that is pretty neat. Now, um... All loyalty will be then be converted to gold, whether it's your personal loyalty or it's alliance loyalty, um, will be converted to gold. And they wanted to give us a heads up, that way we're, we're not um, using that loyalty right now, like donating it or, or doing stuff like that. Additionally, we're going to be making another couple changes to the help request as they pertain to mission energy, increasing the frequency of when you're allowed to request help for mission energy. So you can now request energy every hour instead of every six hours. Now that's pretty cool. Not that there's really enough content for you to have to do that, but early on when you're trying to finish like, uh, you know, map one um, and all or act one, That'd be pretty useful and pretty beneficial when you're trying to build up your levels and all that stuff. So that is pretty cool. And you will be granted three energy simply by requesting help. So you can take another step or two and possibly complete a fight right away rather than waiting for alliance mates to fulfill that. Now that is neat because sometimes the further along you get 
when a map may just be around the exact same energy you have, you know, you're like one away from the boss and you got to press help and then you got to like wait 10 minutes or so for you to get enough energy to move on. But you're going to be getting this three energy just by pressing help. And that could be beneficial sometimes. Um, I definitely see where that could be beneficial. So that's it for now. We have a lot more cool improvements coming your way with our 2.0 release, which lands next week. And more information will be available on that early next week, so keep your eyes open. And I will be covering that as it drops next week because I'm really excited to see what changes they're going to implement in this game because changes need to be implemented. So there is that. Now, now to go along with that last one, um, we also have a thread that was posted on the forums called Will the Game Be Scrapped? I guess Mr. LT had said that the game may be scrapped um, because it, it doesn't seem like it's really doing too well. And Kabam Mike came back with this reply. So this goes along with three point or with 2.0 coming um, early or in the middle of next week. They said, hey all, there's no need to worry about the game getting scrapped. We've got lots of stuff planned for the future and have lots of cool things in the pipeline that I think you're all going to enjoy. Rest assured, this game is only going to grow and it isn't going nowhere or anywhere. So it isn't going nowhere. I think that'd be a double negative. Isn't going anywhere. So I have been reading this um, in some different areas where people are afraid that the game, because we do, the people, those of us that like this game, we see that they have something good here. They have the, the bones of something good. They just need to build on that and add some meat to it and really add some life to it. So they have the bones of something that we really like, something that's really fun to play. They just need to grow on that. So check back next week to see what that is that they're going to be implementing in 2.0. Let me know in the comments what you think the changes will be, what you would like to see, what you want to see done away with. Let me know what you think about this loyalty. Do you care? Do you not care? Actually, there's a poll right here. Let me know what you think about the loyalty. Um, is it something you're happy to see go? Is it something you'd rather see stay and change? Or do you like the way it is? Let me know. I want to hear your thoughts. If you like the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do so for more awesome Transformers Forge to Fight content. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.